Now, as you're adding, something interesting is happening. The gears that, that get the sum, some of them may go from 9 to 0, and then continue on 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, of course, when it goes from 9 to 0, it really has gone from 10 to 11 and so on, which means we've got to take care of a carry. Okay? Well, everyone, if you park the, park the waters and go around to the back side, I'll join you over there. We're going to look at the next turn of the frame. Now, when you add 0 to 0, you get 0. And when you add anything that sums up to, le up to 9 or less, you only get 9 or less, and there's no carry. But once you go beyond 10, you have a carry. The maximum decimal digits you can add are 9 plus 9. Result is 18, which means it's an 8 with a carry. Now, if there's a number below it which has also produced a carry, when that carry is added to the 8, it will become a 9. So you'll get 19. Okay? But really, it's just an 8 with a carry. The carry below it added to the 8 makes it a 9. But you don't get 20, which means you don't get two carries in one stage. You only get one carry out of any stage at any time. But if the number above me is a 9, it becomes a 0. If the number above that is a 9, it's going to become a 0. And if the one above that's a 9, it's going to become a 0. So we have to propagate the carry. Not only do we generate them, but we also create them as we go. So that's what this is doing. It's going to go through one more cycle. Watch the carries. Watch the helical line, which is the thing that spirals them up from the low order. To the and these little levers that come out. Like that. Oh, yeah, let's go all the way to five. That's the third or the five.